Okay, this here's a boat doctor on two. Okay, we're gonna turn on the VHF. You gotta hold that for like, there you go into your click, click, right there and it'll turn on. So where we left off before was the anchor lights, which we got, wipers we got. These down here are ex accessories, spares. And I think you got a spare over here too. You got a PowerPoint sitting there, dual key switch. Then when you control, they do have to fix this switch. Like I say, see now that it's working, now it's not. I'm gonna push it. Now see how they're not going up. But then you can do it independently like this. So that's something they may have to replace the switch on that. Then over here, then you just hit clear. And then if you want to scan, you hit scan and scan all. And then if it sticks on the station, it's going to say skip over here. Just hit that. And this has latitude and longitude on that reading off of this right here. So you go home again. So if you wanted to go to, uh, say over here, AVG controls. Okay, then you can go to Vessel Video Autopilot, which we were already on. You can hook up a media device. And then you can go over here to Vessels. You can hook up cameras. That'll give you a good GPS big, your uh, uh, compass, depth, latitude, and longitude right there. And then you can go over, I think you have to hit this one, which don't mean nothing, so I'll leave it there. So go home, uh, active cabin, that's through your, uh, oh, so let's go over here. We're on the autopilot, kick that. I can either change it by hitting this one and it'll go one degree over, or I can go over here. I can hit this and it'll go 10 degrees over. See the turret, so I can do it from both places. <clears throat> and again, this is on the kicker. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here. We're gonna shut this one down make sure it trims up and uh, see what else is on my notes okay start with a couple scratches on the main cowlings uh, trim switch we already said that oh we're slow down out the autopilot is trying to gain on so we're going to start these up watch your tack and then we're gonna just bump it in gear. And then it's, it should take, now see where it says shadow drive? And we're gonna have to put that on standby because what happened, I sat there and I was not in gear. So we're gonna have to put it in gear. Come on over here. straighten her up then you can hit engage and then it should hold it and then weather you just hit this right here you have to stop that then hit here and it'll go into weather hit it again and it cuts it off hit scan all right here and it's going to scan so then you go home again uh, let's go to uh, smart mode, okay, cruising. These are just some quick presets. So that would give me my autopilot, radar overlay, and my standard GPS right here. And if anything highlighted is a menu to it. Like right now I can do the QWERTY, see how it's zooming in and out. If I wanted autopilot, I hit focus till that's highlighted. And then you can hit this and make it actually, see here I can change that. Or I can hit, I think, whoop, go up here. See how I got highlighted that? Now I can go full screen if I tap this. See? Or go back, and it'll bring me back where I'm at. And then you can go home again. You can go uh, anchoring. That would just give you your uh, radar and your GPS. These are just quick settings. So you go home here, and then you go into uh, combos. You can go into here, I made one up for you. And then that gives you everything. Autopilot, radar overlay, radar, and uh, it gives you your uh, fish finder. Now you can set up another one, which is combos, which would give your navigation, which is, I don't know if I set that one up yet. No, I didn't, I can make another combo. Because here's, 
right here with your navigation and your radar overlay and then your traditional sonar. But we're holding force pretty good. We're already at five minutes, but I'll just kind of show you what this will do on the autopilot. It does work good. I can speed it up. Try to keep your RPMs the same. Fish in 3D, we'll hit this one. Well, I dropped my copy, damn it. Okay, this will pop up. It's gonna do the little swirly thing. And here's where the autopilot comes in if you're messing around. Then you can change your distance here. Then if you got little balls coming up in there, that means you got fish on right there. Yeah, there's a lot to it, but it's pretty easy. Okay, so now you can do this in two different places, like on your autopilot. You can go back here to AV gauges, hit that. Go down to autopilot, hit that. Okay, now say I wanna do a turn. I can hit menu, pattern steering. I wanna do a U-turn. I can hit it, I wanna engage to the port side. And then I can actually hit menu again. And I can actually set, adjust, turn direction, engage, heading hole, pattern steering, U-turn. And I already did it. So engage port. So that's your U-turn. Now there is a way to get in here, adjust U-turn direction. See how fast I'm turning it? Okay, and, get, and then once I did the U-turn, I could just hit a heading hold and it'll hold right there. So then you go to pattern steer. I wanna do a circle. Whoops, I better do that. Engage starboard. And then see right here, it's set at one minute. You can go into there and adjust circle. And then you can do your time, how long it takes you to do the time or the circle. So once I get to a circle I want, and again, this is on the main, and this is the autopilot working. And let's see here. Kicker could have been a long shaft, but that's okay. It's working. It just drags a little bit. Overall, it's a good boat, and all that stuff should be fixed. So I'm just going to let it finish the circle here. And then... So you can do that on here, too. You can do it on both. So I would just hit menu right here. And then uh, adjust circle, select starboard circle time see then you just go down and do that now if I want to uh, go back wow well, I didn't want to do that menu engage heading hole there you go then it's just going to take it straight ahead same thing you can do it on that then just go back and then disengage you can just hit that right there so then you got your handles okay so I think I went through everything there and one motor, like I say, I think it did dang near 30 miles an hour, which was pretty good. Okay. So we're going to slow this thing down. And again, the trim on the handle is, so you're going to have to use these, but not, we are going to fix those. So don't worry about that. It's just this switch right here because all the other switches work. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit it. 1001, 1002, boom, right up on top. So that's pretty dang quick. And then what we'll do is go back here to home. We'll go to 
engines, vessel. Now give me the big number so we can see the speed. Okay, cruising or just planing. So there's planing right there. About 21 miles an hour. Now I'm gonna hit these. And if a corpus is a little bit, push your tab down. tricky trying to do this and then I'm trimming these up so that'd be pretty good cruising speed 28.8 then I'm gonna go ahead and bring those down and bring the tabs back up make sure that kicker motor is always shut off and up so those are up I'm gonna trim that down the main motors now I'm gonna hit it Engage. 